What is going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Now in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys exactly how to create a really, really cool lower thirds for your videos because of course 2021 is around the corner. We want to improve our videos. So I want to basically mention that these lower thirds can only be used in Vegas Pro 16 or higher because I found these on my hard drive from a couple years back and I thought like this one would actually be really, really nice for you guys to customize it. So that's why these work in Vegas Pro 16 and not for example, Vegas Pro 15 so you can actually use this version from Vegas 16 and on and of course you can actually try to open it up with any other template maybe it will work but I think Vegas Pro 16 is the lowest version that you can go so you can use it in Vegas Pro 17 and 18 but aside from that guys if you guys are excited to create this really really cool name lower third or basically for your Facebook page your Twitter your Instagram your Twitch to subscribe you know to share the video anything like that we will be covering today so if you guys are excited make sure to hit the like button down below subscribe if you're watching and I would say let's go ahead and get started creating these really really cool lower thirds right after the intro All right, guys, so as you can see right now, we are in Vegas Pro 18. So this is basically a, one of the templates that you will get when you click on the first link down in the description is completely for free. So what you guys can do is you can download the files and you can extract it to your desktop, for example, using WinRAR or WinZip. And this is basically the folder that you guys will get. All right, so this is what you will get in the folder right here. We have the needed fonts. So we're going to double click on that folder. And right here, we have a couple fonts that we actually need. But the thing is that we are not going to install them like all one by one so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and select them all we're going to hit right click and then we're going to hit install now of course i already have them so i'm not going to do that but once you've installed them you can go back for example so right here you don't want to touch this folder because right here it says social media icons where everything is like placed in that your templates need for it to open and then right here it says facebook now let's go ahead and open up this template okay so what i actually experienced guys is when i booted up the project for the very first time i had a little error box in the middle of the screen which like a gray one like there was a file missing for me it was this facebook icon that you can see right here so what i did I, I just you know replaced it i just went searching for the missing file i went to the folder that i you know extracted into my desktop i went into the social media icons folder uh this one and i just clicked on the facebook one and everything else that will follow will be go ahead and be changed automatically when it, when it comes to like the location of your icons so once you have done that you can basically open up any of these files and once you have them open you can custom Customize this completely to your wants and needs so let's go and click for example on the Vegas solid color let's say that we want to have it for example instead of pink we can put it on blue so we're gonna go and place this marker right here and then we're gonna drag this guy down so now that this line is blue we will also want to have this one blue but we can also have this for example a different color if you want to so we're gonna go to the solid color which is in the generated media tab and then we're gonna do exactly the same we're gonna drag this little marker all the way up and then this marker all the way down until it's blue it actually actually looks very nice with like the blue and the gray and the silver icon so now if I play it back this is all pre-animated for you so it comes in the screen just like that it goes in like a little bit smaller then it says like me on Facebook and now you can change up the text for example if you click on here it says Facebook name you just want to zoom in by holding control and scrolling up and then we're gonna just click for example facebook.com for its last just Alex Halford that's the that's the official page and of course you can like you know position it for example right there or you can just drag it to the exactly the same position as where the line ends and that's how you can do it and that's really really simple and all these other simple presets that are in that folder will be exactly the same so if you open up the Twitter one you're right here you will see the Twitter icon of course that is of course how you can export it out and how you can also have a custom lower third now how do you do that how do you export because right here we have one two three four five six seven files that are separate how do we export this into a video how do we drag it into an actual video and have it like a transparent instead of like a background so how that works is once you have played it back and everything disappeared again you want to go frame by frame and then you want to stop the marker right here where everything is black again out of the screen and then we're going to select it all and then we're going to export this as an mov file basically meaning that it doesn't have a background and that we can just remove the black into a new project so i'm going to click file and i'm going 
going to hit render as. So then if you want to render it out, it says quick time seven. So that's basically where you want to do it. So if you guys want to know how to render out your videos with a transparent setting, make sure to check out this video right here at the top. That will show you exactly the settings you need. But of course, if you already have them saved, for example, in a template because you've seen that video or you already have a transparent quick time template in Vegas, you can just click on the setting that you always use and let's just call this Facebook lower third. So let's go ahead and export this out right here. So I'm going to click render. Okay, so now it's going to take a couple seconds, of course, as you can see. And then I'm going to open up a brand new project and I'm going to show you guys exactly how to remove the black background. Okay, so now that's completely done. I'm going to click file. I'm going to click new. I'm not going to save it with this one. Okay, so now that we have a complete brand new blank template, I'm going to drag in a little bit of footage. So as you can see, there's a little bit of studio footage from a couple weeks ago. So right here, I also dragged in my lower third. And as you can see, it's of course black because that's how we exported it out. So how do you actually get rid of the black background now of course you're not gonna place a black chroma key on it because of course if you're gonna do that if you're gonna place a black chroma key on it it will work and it will take out the black background but it will also take out for example this black or dark f in this icon because it's gonna basically take out any black or like really dark gray shades from your video you don't want that so how we're gonna remove it in a different way than using a chroma key we're going to right click on our clip then we're gonna hit properties and of course first disable the resample to make it look a lot smoother so frames will not blend and then we're going to go to the media tab right here and then for the alpha channel we're going to put this one to straight and matted now if i click on okay let's see what happens as you can see it becomes transparent because we have these boxes but we don't see through it because of course it has to be on a different video track than this clip so i'm going to right click insert a new video track and if i drag in my footage on there as you can see if i play it back this is what it looks like the social media lower third is now completely transparent without any any background it looks that amazing and if you want to have it a little bit on a, like a different size you can just click on this icon the track motion one and then you can just drag this corner of the right hand side a little bit downwards like that and drag it to the very left bottom corner and if i play it back as you can see that's what it looks like it is really really simple guys how you can create these lower thirds and this works exactly the same for instagram for youtube for like subscribe notification lower thirds you can just choose the color as well for example per you know layout so let's say that you have facebook right here is blue because of course the color of facebook is blue but then you can change for example twitch to purple and then instagram to like pink or brown and it's really cool how you can customize it to your wants and needs it is that simple guys the download links in the description and that is pretty much how to create a really really cool lower third for your videos and actually to improve your videos as well in 2021 all right guys so that's it for this video now you guys know how to create these really really cool lower thirds with your name and like the whole animation so if you guys enjoyed this video and you want to see more of these videos, make sure to smash the like button down below. Also, let me know down in the comments what you would like to see for future videos. That's basically it. That's how simple it is. Make sure to go ahead and check out the link down in the description to download this template. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you guys, obviously, in the next one.